since global warming is such a big issue now, um, <clears throat> a lot of attention has come our way about uh, trying to explain what we found. That attention is basically derived because we do fundamental science research that is published in the peer-reviewed scientific literature. I don't think we would have any voice if all we were spouting off were opinions about global warming. We are uh, given some air on the media because we have publications that show what our results are. That has led to a number of interesting situations. Um, on the positive side, I would never have imagined being called upon to be on CNN live many times, to be interviewed on NPR several times, to have asked to write op-eds for the BBC or New York Times or Wall Street Journal. Uh, and even this past week, uh, Mike Wallace has a book about this, uh, uh, the way we will be in 50 years, 60 of the world's greatest minds. Tell us about that. Well, despite the line about the world's 60 greatest minds, my essay actually ended up in the book and bringing, you know, even more attention. Um, the news cycle is so prevalent now and fast that you can imagine how many outlets are there that need someone talking all the time, 24 hours a day. So the number of people available for exposure has certainly gone up, and so I guess I'm on lists around the country to uh, be on those things. Um, I don't think uh, that uh, uh, they certainly haven't affected the science that we do. That is just the hard science that's publishable and, and so on. Uh, it has given uh, some strange situations to us where I might be called and asked to be on CNN, say, and that a limousine would be at my door in one hour to take me to Birmingham where the uplink uh, satellite equipment is. And, and then that happens. Um, but, uh, you know, I step back and look at, uh, uh, at my life in, in general, and I'm just tremendously uh, blessed and, and happy to be where I am. Uh, I've, I've told people before that I have, uh, you know, what more can I achieve in life? I have a wife who loves me and children who honor me and a faith that sustains me. And I can even add today, I have grandchildren that adore me. So I have a, a life that is, is envious of, uh, 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 of a lot of others, I suppose, in the world. And I'm very grateful to be where I am. So uh, I, I hope that the attention that this media does give will, will not be viewed as a way in which the science would be skewed or altered as a result. The science is numbers, and that's what we will stick to and continue to report.